What's up? This is Cabe Sipes from Custom Audio Reimagined, and I'm getting ready to button this thing up and put it all together, so I figured I'd make a quick video to try and help anybody else. This is a 2021 Polaris Slingshot. So the reason I decided to go ahead and make a quick video on this is I can't find any information on this machine. I've done plenty of slingshots, but I did not realize that in 2020 and up, they changed the body style, they went to a different engine, they changed a lot about it that you really wouldn't notice unless you've done one before and then you start realizing things have changed. Uh, when I went to order the dash kit, there was no dash kits for the 21 other than sling mods, which I ordered theirs, it's an aluminum kit. For what it costs, you'll feel like you got robbed because it's very expensive for basically something you could make out of plastic if you knew the shape, um, but it's available. The harness from Sling Mods did not work though. It was good for 21 and up, they said. I got it here. It did not plug in because this vehicle has the tech package. Now what the tech package consists of is a Rockford Fosgate audio system. So this is the radio that was in there. So if you have this radio in there, the Sling Mods harness will not match. It is a completely different plug. Uh, this is the plug that's actually on the unit. Now what they've done is they've went kind of the way that Harley Davidson did. You can get a stage one, stage two, or stage three. This is a stage one, meaning all it has is a Fosgate radio in the dash and then Fosgate speakers down here in the kick areas. Now if you go to the stage two system, it gives you the rear speakers that are right behind your head. And if you go to the stage three system, I believe that has an amplifier and a subwoofer as well. Now, just like a Harley Davidson, you cannot hook up rear speakers to a stage one because it's not pinned for it and you would have to have it flashed from Polaris. Um, they've basically locked it in to where if you try to upgrade the audio system, you're gonna need to go to the dealership, which this customer wasn't really happy about. So he decided to go ahead and gut the whole thing and put in a new Sony radio, uh, new speakers and amplifier and everything all around. But I'm gonna show you some things that may help you or save you some trouble because I couldn't find any info, so I had to dig it out myself. The first thing you'll notice is the customer put in these rear speaker pods from SSV Works and he has speakers in them, but he said they didn't work. And that's because they are not hooked up to anything. If you go to the factory harness, which would be located right here, you will see all those pins and all those empty pins. The white and gray are there for the front left and right. The black is ground and that red is testing out as ignition, which is where I'm gonna be tapping for the accessory. So this red's tapping, it's testing out as ignition. And then you have these shielded lines, but there's nothing here for the rears, but the wires are there. So I followed them and they run uh, down and forward. And I found them in this bundle. And if you come up, Right here, if you separate the bundle, you can pull them out, and these are the rear speaker leads. Now they keep going forward in this bundle up here, and I'm not sure where they go, but they're not terminated to anything. So they must run up and then just stop for any future upgrades. But I went ahead and grabbed them right here, and this is where I'm gonna tap to send my rear signals to the rear speakers. The front signals I'm gonna grab from this harness, and like I said, I'm gonna grab ignition and not ground though. I'm not gonna be using this ground. I'm just gonna be running this ignition wire is all I'm gonna be grabbing. Now the other issue by not having a harness is there's no reverse trigger. And this machine, even though it's got a tech package, doesn't have a backup camera and the customer wanted to add one. Well, just like the older ones, if you look straight down, you'll see a plug right there. It's a two pin plug with a black and a white wire in it. It's on the transmission. The white is the reverse trigger, but it's a negative trigger. So you have to put a relay. So this is the new body harness I've made. And when I hook up this white wire, 
down there to that transmission wire, this relay will energize and give me a positive trigger out of this purple wire that will go to the Sony. Then I also have the cameras power and ground. I have constant, which I've grabbed off the battery, and I've got ground, which I've grabbed off the battery as well. But I've made my own harness here that runs the battery, which the battery's in the front on these machines as well, not like the older ones where they're back there underneath that area. But I've got my harness going from the battery, follows the frame to here. I've got my split offs with my RCAs, everything to power the Sony radio and the camera. Then my leads go through the transmission. It's gonna drop down and pop out of that factory hole there is gonna be where the amplifier is gonna go right there, putting in a Sound Digital Power Sports 800.4. So the RCAs, power and speaker and everything will go there. But then also there's a pigtail right there for the camera and that's because I have a camera going in up here, which this doesn't have the camera and they don't make the camera that mounts here. If they do, they don't have it listed for 20 and up. It's all listed for like 19. I didn't want to order one and find out that it didn't, you know, change the shape or it didn't match. So we got them a license plate camera that's going to go here. But when I mounted it, I hated it. The look of it made me sick. So outside it's drying. I custom built a whole new pod here and I've got the camera right there feeding the line through. If you take out this light, very easy, two screws. In here, you have all the room in the world. This is my pole that's going down to that orange one. So that orange pole, and I've tied it to the yellow pole. So that's how I can pull the camera wire down there and plug it in. I'm starting to sweat, it's very hot in here. But along with the rear pods and the phosgate fronts, he also had me order the SSV Works side pods that are gonna hold another pair of kicker waterproof six and a halfs. And that's also what he's got going in the rear pods. The fronts are gonna remain the Rockford phosphates. And there's one of the pods on the passenger side and the pod over here on the driver's side. They're not too bad to put in, uh, pretty basic, took about 30 minutes to do. I did have a lot of struggle with the passenger seat. I normally don't have to pull the seats out of these machines, and if I do, it's almost always the driver's side. The passenger side seat, I don't know if this is standard, but if you ever have to pull one out, let me show you what I came across. Unlike the driver's seat, the passenger seat doesn't have tracks. It doesn't slide. It's just stationary. And there's a bolt there, and there's a bolt there, and then there's a, like, a gold bolt there, a really long, like, crop, not gold, but like a copper brass bolt there. But on the back side, this back corner, the bolt is sideways. So right there's the hole. So you'll be looking for the top of a bolt and you won't find it because the bolt is actually facing this way, it's sideways. And you have to get in there and loosen that up and it really isn't easy. And it's gonna be very hard now that I've got this speaker pod in here. It's gonna be a chore to get that bolt back in there. But I don't know if that's how it was on the 19s. I don't think I ever took the passenger seats out. But if it isn't, then they've changed it, and there you go. And to add to just the tips, as I'm putting this machine back together, um, right there is the Sling Mods aluminum, but I painted it white to match. It's pretty nice, but there is one thing I'd point out. I don't believe this has to stay in. If you undo these two twisties, this whole section will remove and I think I could but I don't want to risk it because I don't want that if that's any kind of support for the upper dash I don't want to take that away but if you notice the aluminum plate for sling mods if I had any suggestion for them they need to shorten that up there is no reason for those to be that long because they're actually pressing up here so hard that I had to rerun my wiring because I was afraid it was going to basically cut into it it's just too tight. So I'm not sure why they made that so deep, but if you get one of these, I would go ahead and chop off. If you have the ability, chop an inch or so off of that, or go ahead and cut a nice, you know, half circle at the bottom for your wiring to come through, just so you don't run into what I've ran into. As far as wiring up here, I grabbed right at that spot. That jumps right down to the battery, which is down here. And I grabbed there. 
I've got the uh, fuse mounted there. I'm going to change out those stainless screws. I don't like the way they look. Uh, they seem to just be a little too large. I'll change those out. But I've got the ground also off the battery. And then my lines run up the frame, away from those heat shields, up to the radio. And then it's all running down through there. Then it drops underneath. I had to jack the machine up so I could get the wiring to come up through that hole. And then I have it knotted down. And then I turned at a 90 really fast and knotted down so I wouldn't get any chance of the, the wires you know, dropping back. That way there's no chance of getting any slack down there where the drive shaft is because that would not be good. And then as an added bonus, just because I did not like the way the license plate camera was gonna look, I went ahead and built that backup camera. That's kind of how the factory ones would have came, but this one, there's no option because it's a 21. So I took the factory plastic piece, I took some low heat plastic, molded it in, put on some sides, did a little bit of body filling, sprayed it black and cleared it over. But now his camera is right there on the back and it just way, way better than being down there. Um, if you try to put the camera back here on the original where it bends down and then comes straight out, it doesn't work because you pick up these side fins because that was my original plan and then I tested the camera and you can see these two sides really bad. It takes up half the camera. So you have to bring the camera out to the edge here like that. Hopefully he likes that. Uh, if he doesn't, then I guess we can uh, relocate it. And the point that I'm at right now is I'll be getting the amp set up underneath the seat here. I'm gonna go cut a piece of a quarter inch plastic to put down on the floor. I adhere it with CNC tape, double-sided, and I use adhesion promoter. That way I'm not putting holes all through this guy's uh, plastic panel here. I can mount the amp and do everything to that ABS, and then it'll adhere down there and it will never go anywhere, it won't move. And that's where we're at right now. And here we have it uh, pretty well buttoned up and done. All I got left to do is put the uh, dash and the seats back on. Just got done testing it. Everything works perfectly. It's actually very loud. Those speakers right there on the side, I really didn't have much faith in them because the placement, but it adds a lot of output. It's actually screaming loud. So he's got the kicker six and a half Marines there, the six and a half Marines there, and then he's still got the factory Fosgate woofers there, and then there's tweeters that actually are part of the dash. So I'm gonna put the dash back on. I got the amplifier down here on a piece of ABS plastic. Just simple, clean, laid out. I have the rears and the sides parallel together off the rear output. And then the front is actually running up to the Fosgates in the fronts. Now to put it together and that should be it. And here we have the final install. There's the backup camera piece that we made. Everything in here is working great. There's the backup camera view. Sounds great. Everything came out perfect. It all went to back together perfect. Um, I'm glad I ordered the raw panel and painted it rather than getting the black powder coated. I think that white really looks cool. I was thinking about having a decal cut. If it was mine, I would, but it's up to the customer. But he could have like a Sony decal or slingshot and black put across there by the radio and it'd look really nice. But yeah, this came out great. All buttoned up. First uh, 21 that I've done. Like I said, this was just a quick video. I didn't really set it up good for production value. I really wasn't even expecting to do a video about this until I found out how different the 21 is as opposed to like the 19s. So I made this video just to try and maybe help somebody, show somebody where you could grab the reverse, grab the rear speakers, grab the leads that you need. I'm Cabe Sipes, take it easy. Mm -hmm.